this morning we're in Messiah. I'm going to be taking my trike out of the back of the van. I'm going to ride into Messiah and we're going to cruise around the plaza. So stay tuned. Morning, folks. It's a beautiful day. And today we're going to Messia, the village of Messia. Established in the 1840s. Uh, rich, rich history here. I'm going to take you to some of the places that I like to frequent. And um, it's just a beautiful little village. It's one of my favorite places in New Mexico. People are nice. It's a sleepy little area. The buildings are historic. A lot of history here. Anything from Native American to the Spanish to uh, Civil War. And then finally, there's going to be um, Billy the Kid, Pat Garrett. The Bean family, the Roy Bean family, Judge Roy Bean. And uh, anyway, we're going to cruise through here and see what we can see. Now, the first place we're going to visit is the Fountain Theater. This was built by the Fountain family, which we're going to go over quite a bit of their history here today. Uh, they still uh, have theater in this venue. Um, looks like they do Fridays and Wednesdays through Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Saturday and Sunday they have matinees and they have different movies that they show here. This was, uh, it's been around for quite a while, the Fountain Theater. Next on the list is the La Posta de Messia. It's a great little restaurant. Got to try that out if you're ever down here. Right there is the original gel house where Pat Garrett captured Billy the Kid and um, he was held in jail here while he was sent uh, going to trial. It was kind of a sham trial. He thought he was going to get pardoned um, but they tricked him and he was uh, convicted to hang. But he escaped out of this uh, venue and um, didn't die that day. He uh, died at the hands of Pat Garrett a few years later. This is the plaza in the heart of Messia. Most Hispanic and Mexican culture 
centralized around the plaza. And this is the plaza that's been here since the 1840s. Central to their, uh, their community. Most uh, historical villages in New Mexico have plazas. Santa Fe has a horse world famous plaza. Albuquerque has the Old Town Plaza. This is the, uh, there's two basilicas for the Catholic Church in, in New Mexico and this is one of them. Um, I'll cruise around to the front of it on the other side. We're gonna have to make a couple of rounds around the plaza because I gotta show the other side. Historic buildings. I wish I knew more about the buildings. Uh, I know some of uh, some of the history on some of the buildings. This is part of the Catholic Church here. Approach a plaza from the north headed south. Beautiful church. I've attended Mass here a couple of times. It's uh, beautiful inside. It's small. But nice. Along the west side of the plaza, you'll see these little mercantiles. All of these structures are originally from the 1800s. Uh, big, thick adobe walls. I'm going to take a quick cruise around. And then I'm gonna stop at certain ones to go over where I know the history. I like coming here early in the morning. It's not so busy with tourists. I recommend you do the same. This is an interesting structure. This is supposedly the oldest documented brick building in New Mexico that's still standing. I'll come back and read the history on that. El Piatio Cantina, established in 1934, but the building's much older. It looks like the Fountain family was involved with this uh, building. Fountain Theater's right down the road. It's also a Butterfield Stagecoach uh, Overland Mail drop. Sam Beans. Saloon in 1860, and the Blacksmith Forge, and there's a post office, and Transchanger Block dates back to 1854. Anyway, that there's a bar here now, and you can come and visit the bar. It's all it got to be on your bucket list. And the Abino Basilica graces the front of the plaza, which is common in most uh, plazas of the era.
beautiful old adobe buildings. All of them are historical society for the state of New Mexico. As we cruise through the little village, you'll find old adobe structures like this throughout the area. Look at the size of that adobe structure right there. You'll find that people in southern New Mexico, well, most of the country, but I find them very patriotic down here. They love their country. Now, these are some beautiful homes in here. This is not a cheap neighborhood to live in because everybody likes the historical uh, hacienda style, adobe style, pueblo spot style building, beautiful structures. Um, on both sides this is the old village all these homes are probably a lot of them are in the late 1800s been restored fixed up i really enjoy this area down here today i'm going to take you by two haunts the the double eagle bar and saloon uh, restaurant fantastic steaks Good, good food. They have two uh, restaurants in the same facility. And um, good morning, Kitty. And then I'm going to take you to the Fountain House. Uh, the Fountains were a famous family here. Good morning. What are you all up to? <laughs> are you fixing your adobe wall? We just built it. <laughs> Man, that's beautiful. We're making nichos. nichos. Adobe. <laughs> How you doing? He's good. I, I ride here. Uh, yeah, when you can't ride a bike anymore, you have to ride a trike. I got a bad hip. I can't ride a bike anymore. Oh, no. So this is how I get my exercise. <laughs> and I'm videotaping, by the way. Excellent. I'm making a YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. You don't mind if I film you doing that a little bit, do you? No. You have to sell us your channel, Yeah, I will. It's Terra Trike, New Mexico. <laughs> and I'm uh, filming all of uh, Mesilla Valley. Uh-huh. And where I live in Las Alturas. And uh-huh. Tortuga, my wife's family comes back to the beginning of New Mexico's history. Uh -huh. right. And in fact, Dona is named after her family and the Rubellos Mountains is named after her family. <laughs> and um, this is a neat little village you guys are playing in. <laughs> is this your home? Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. So you build an adobe wall and then you just uh, carve the nicho out in it, huh? There's one in there that's finished. You can go look at that. Oh, can we? Yeah. Bill helped us build it. Oh, that's gorgeous. That was about 18 I built. Uh, 26,000 for a guy. But I had, I had five guys, five Mexicans working for me. And I used to get all the all the dirt out of the reddish dish up there. There used to be a big border on the reddish. Uh huh. Up there, right there, you can see that a big old reddish dish right there. And uh, there was there was all the mud that they took at the bottom. It was perfect. Well, and it's special mud that you have to use to make adobe, huh? Yeah, you gotta have a little clay and you gotta have sand, and then. Uh, Paja, that's what's good to put in Spanish. Paja. You put that in, and then you mix it, and then you make the porms. But I had aluminum porms. See, they make them out of wood, and I made them out of how we're going to the welders. 
I make on points, I make two. Then this I had a big truck. I had a big truck. Are you from Masia? I've been living here the since I was over 13. Yeah. Oh, that's nice to meet you. Uh, I used to live out there. By the school. When I when I got the work on the wife, she took me for everything she had. <laughs> <laughs> now you're still working, huh? <laughs> well, I appreciate you spending some time with me and showing you how you build a adobe wall. That's Absolutely. cool. You think they did it that way back in the old days? <laughs> yeah, Jose, that just went across the street, he said, no, they would cut the bricks as they did it. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, making niches. Here was uh -huh. the original house, 500 square feet. Uh huh. And that was, I think, 1930? And then in 2000, then somebody put the rest of the house in. But so it was a three three room house. A 500 square foot three room house. Mm -hmm. My gosh, that <laughs> must be some tiny rooms. <laughs> there, yeah. We use it's used bedrooms and it, then we have a kitchenette for family, friends, whoever comes and needs a place. We don't rent it out. So that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, how long have you guys had it? Eight years. Eight years. Cool. We love it. Yeah. Um, should I get another hammer? Are you done with that? Wow, such nice people. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you. We are right down on the Rio Grande, right at the edge of the Mesilla Valley. These are pecan orchards out here which I really like. Morning! Hey. It's a very popular bicycle place. Not too many trikers down here. Those nice people building that adobe wall told me to go down here that there's an adobe restoration going on of some historical facilities. So I'm gonna run over there and check that out. The Taylor family is a huge family here that donated uh, some historic, one of the best colonial Spanish uh, hacienda style that was done in the 1800s here in New Mexico is, is being restored. So let's see if we can go look at that. Beautiful, beautiful farms down here. Ah, this is a gorgeous place. If you ever get a chance, come and cruise Mesilla. It's it's worth a visit. Somebody built an adobe there. Adobe mud is that clay right there. And they mix it with sand and they make bricks. And they uh, build buildings out of it that are very uh, efficient. There's a big pile of them right there. Special mud, special sand mixture. And right here, you can see them drying in the sun. Those adobe bricks are the way the locals have done this for hundreds of years here. Mixed with straw, sand, and baked in the sun. I think today's the 10th of October 2024. It's been in the, it's still in the 90s down here in Las Cruces. Uh, right now it's morning. I got out here early about nine o'clock and it was in the uh, low 60s this morning when I got up and now it's probably still in the 60s. It's not hot, beautiful. So I'm on a little bike trail that's right out of Mesilla. I'm headed west to east back towards the plaza. Um, 
This is a nice little trail. Mm -hmm. Brand new. These are cotton fields. They grow a lot of cotton down here in Las Cruces. Check that is. Pecan, cotton, onions, all staples here. Pecan orchards all across in this area for miles and miles and miles. 